Welcome to Chapter 4, Lesson 4. Remember, the essential question for the chapter is, how can I communicate multiplication? Okay, today we're going to be doing hands-on, use models to multiply. So we're going to be drawing models. And today is really going to put your knowledge of expanded form. Remember, expanded form from Chapter 1, where you write a number instead of like, 24, you'd write it like 20 plus 4. And the associative property. And remember, the associative property says it doesn't matter which one you multiply first. So you can multiply 2 times 4 and then times 5, or 2 times 5 and then times 4. And it's still going to be the same. Okay, partial products. You can use partial products to multiply a one-digit number by a two-digit number. Find the products for the tens and ones separately. Then add them together. Area models and arrays can show partial products. Okay, so what do they mean? Let's take a look. The hiking club has three groups of bikers. Okay, so you see that here. One, two, three. Three groups. Each group has 12 people, and you see that here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many hikers are in the hiking club altogether? So it's 3 times 12. So you're going to draw a rectangular array. This is an array. And separate 12 into expanded form. Okay, so expanded form. Well, expanded form would say it was 10 and 2. Okay, so here you're going to write 10 and 2, and you're going to divide it. Okay, so in 2, and this one's 10. Okay, now we're going to find the partial products. So now what we need to do is multiply 3 times 10, which we know is 30, because we know our multiplication facts, and 3 times 2, which is 6 because we know our multiplication facts. Okay, and then it says add the partial product. So we add 30 and 6 together to get 36. So 3 times 12 equals 36. So there are blank hikers in the hiking club. There are 36 hikers. All right, let's try it. The hikers hiked for four hours. Each hour, they saw 21 animals. How many animals did they see in all? It says use an area model. Okay, so we have to draw the area model. So separate 21 into expanded form, which is 20 and 1. Okay, and we have four hours. Okay, so we need a group to be four. Okay, now I'm not going to divide it into all these little boxes. I'm going to just show you a bit of a quicker way, but it still gets the job done. Okay, so this is, we'll say this part is 20, and then this part is just a little smaller, and that represents 1. Okay, I, again, I'm not cutting it into the boxes, but you understand that there would be 20 boxes and 1 box. And then I just fill in the answer here. So I know that 4 times 2 is 8. And we, from our patterns that we learned, you just add the 0. So count the 0 and add it at the end. And I know 4 times 1 is 4. So find the f partial products. 4 times 20 is 80. And 4 times 1 is 4. So 80 plus 4 equals 84. And then we have to add those partial products, which we did, to 84. So 4 times 21 is 84. Okay? So this could work again. Let's try something else. So let's say 5. Oops, that's a 4. Okay, so we'll do 4 times 27. Now, I don't know what 4 times 27 is right off the top of my head. So I'm just going to break it down into expanded forms. So this is 20 and 7. Well, I know 4 times 2, we just did that as 80, and 4 times 7 is 28. And now this becomes much easier to add. Okay, 
Okay, so that's just how you can make a partial product area model. Okay, explain how to draw an area model to represent 2 times 15. So this is put it into words. I would draw a box divided in two columns for 10 and 5. Okay, a box divided into two columns, 10 and 5. And then draw 2 on the side. Then I would fill in 2 times 10 and 2 times 5. Alright, so that's how you would draw an area model. Okay, so you can pause it on that screen and write what I have, or you can explain it in your own way. Okay, the last thing, let's look to page 218, number 14. It says, how can I use area models to represent multiplication? Explain. So we have our sentence starter. I can use area models to represent multiplication by showing the multiplication of each place value. I can use area models to represent multiplication by showing the multiplication of each place value. Okay, see you in class.